and we've had a couple of conversations about this as well who really is your customer right are you are you solving the pro- and i believe that it's not always the person paying you who's your customer it's who you're solving the problem for so are you solving the problem for ifas who you're also i think considering as micro entrepreneurs in some way right or are you solving the problem for the guy that is or the, or the not the guy but the person that uh, is you know has the wealth so are you solving the problem for the wealth manager or the wealth creator uh primary first primarily we are uh, you know neo group has multiple uh, you know uh, divisions you know multiple businesses verticals themes if i could call it interchangeably so there are different constituents for each of the vertical if it was a family office neo family office we are trying to solve the problem of the ultra wealthy clients in the country who have uh, a lot at stake as finances typically represents the cumulative sacrifices that the family has made uh, outcome of various entrepreneurial efforts that they made and there comes a stage where they would like to optimize how the journey should be and get the best of both risk and reward and you know transparency and continuity of the wealth across generations the needs of the ultra wealthy are very different than other clients who are yet to reach the stage true so that vertical solves the problems of uh the clients ultra rich clients and ultra wealthy clients by sitting on their side as family offices then comes the uh, our own ability and inclination to be uh, crunching all of this in some way and offering as a service that can be consumed by the end client on their own so technology becomes a great conduit true okay can be therefore collapse the accordion and make it bite sized wealth management that can be consumed by a individual client you know on their own but through the collective intelligence represented in that uh, you know tech stack is what we are taking as a route towards the retail customer then there are customers who are in between now we have uh, multiple options either we can do it the traditional way or we can do it the traditional way but also the alternate way of engaging with the end client towards the uh, alternate way of engaging with the end client the hnis and probably ultra hnis if not all family offices neo wealth partners has also been created as a subsidiary where people with experience who desire to uh, you know uh, offer the services practically as if it's their own money hmm. their own <clears throat> entrepreneurship of advisory to the end client and wanted to put their signature on how they service the client based on their understanding of clients but also would require everything that a a true blue wealth outfit will be, look like in terms of capabilities why does it sound a lot like what bridgemont was doing so uh, it is true uh, partially out of bridgemont's multiple models the one that i want to do with private bankers is the continuity of the journey that i am currently you know committed to and uh, uh, in this journey the tweak has been earlier it was a platform as a service hmm. with some additional investing capabilities and you know etc here it is like private wealth outfit with entrepreneurship inside so we spun around the whole problem statement is saying that i wanted to offer independent advisory to go to the clients and make the wealth manager not aligned to the institution mm-hmm. you know uh, in an obligatory manner but aligned to the client correct exclusively he should be aligned to the institution to for governance you know ips adherence and pol- portfolio performance since that is the thing that the client expects regulator expects to that extent he is fully aligned as a nearly like an employee but his obligation is now has to be only towards a client so we had to change the model within private wealth outfits and what bridgemont did and you know bring a confluence of both that's what neowell partners has become now